What lives in a hive? Bees, wasps, ants, maybe termites? You may have even thought of the naked mole rat. Technically, that's more of a colony than a hive, but same idea. Well, I have another hive dweller that probably never crossed your mind because they live underwater. Meet the bees of the sea. This particular species is Synalpheus regalis, one of only seven species that exhibit this eusocial behavior. Out of over 1,100 species of snapping shrimp, snapping shrimp are always easily distinguished because they have asymmetric claws, one's bigger than the other. No varieties of snapping shrimp get very big. However, our hive-dwelling varieties top out at about an eighth of an inch in length. That's the same size as the height of two quarters stacked on top of each other. So these guys are tiny. This minuscule size allows them to inhabit a very unique microhabitat. Unlike the terrestrial animals who usually build their homes, these snapping shrimp have formed a mutually beneficial symbiotic relationship with certain species of sea sponges. The shrimp protects the sponge from predators and parasites, and the sponge provides food and shelter for the shrimp. Both benefit, but neither could live without the other. This is called obligate mutualism. All of these factors and more are why they were only discovered 25 years ago on the Belize Barrier Reef. As we continue to explore the remote and secluded parts of our planet, we find more cryptofauna living in places even stranger than the inside of a sea sponge. The wonder is out there. We just have to be looking for it.